So the relative date filters, like if you add a date, uh, excuse me, a filter <coughs> on any of your date fields, there's some more options that have been added. So you add a filter on a date field. The default is uh, this one that's just a time range where you pick a start and an end date. Uh, but there's another option here called relative dates, which is really useful for if you want to look at the last X periods of data, like last 90 days or last 12 months or something. So you could always do that kind of stuff. But um, one thing is that we didn't have an option for next 90 days or next two weeks. It was always the previous values. So uh, one new thing that I added was next N in this case, it says years, but it's just because I had years selected. So next n periods. So that's something that got added. Another thing that was added here is uh, you can choose an anchor date. So by default, it's always going to be anchored to today, the current date and time. Um, but you can change it to be anchored to a different uh, day or time. You can either, um, actually, you, you would do this from a parameter. So like, say I want to show this dashboard as of two weeks ago or as of yesterday or something. And I want to show 14 days back from that anchor date. So if I had a date parameter, it's now going to measure the last, in this case, two months from whatever I choose in my date parameter. So we allowed it to change from the current date time to, to be like a selector instead. And then the last, the third of the options that was added is that you can exclude certain periods. So uh, like say I want to show the last six months, but my current month of data is not complete, so I don't want to show the current month. Um, so I could say show the last six months, but exclude the last one month because it's not a complete period yet. So that's an, that was another commonly requested improvement to the relative date filters.